Johnson and Rage and Air of the Skay National Park. The Skay National Park is the largest marine park in the national park system. Biscayne protects a rare combination of both marine and terrestrial ecosystems. These ecosystems are connected to one another and to us as people. When people think of Biscayne National Park, the coral reef ecosystem stands out in everyone's mind. Biscayne protects the coral reefs just south of Miami and north of Key Largo. Look around, what do you see? There are many different shapes, sizes, and colors of the reef. Some fish don't belong here, like the exotic invasive lionfish. These fish eat many of our native fish and cause the fragile balance of the reef to get completely off track. Let's take a closer look at the coral. It is the tiny polyp animal that is responsible for the building of the coral reefs. These tiny polyps use their tentacles and reach out into the water column to capture food and materials that it uses to build a protective cup around itself. Many coral polyps living together build a coral colony and many coral colonies make up the reef. Living inside of the coral polyps are algae called zooxanthellae. And just like all plants, they need to photosynthesize. The polyp and algae have a symbiotic relationship. They are best friends and they need each other to survive. The polyp gives the zooxanthellae a place to live and the zooxanthellae gives the polyp oxygen and its beautiful colors. Coral reefs are very delicate and require a very specific set of circumstances in order to live and thrive. Straying from these narrow set of circumstances can have devastating effects on the coral. For example, if sunlight is blocked from reaching the polyps, or if average water temperatures change even slightly, the algae cannot photosynthesize. Algae will depart from the polyp seeking more favorable conditions. When the algae leaves, all color is gone from the polyp. This is known as coral bleaching. If the algae does not return in a timely fashion, the coral will not survive. Only the coral rock skeleton will be left behind. Unfortunately, our planet's climate is changing. Cases of bleaching on coral reefs around the world are on the increase. Things as simple as helping keep the water clean by recycling or properly disposing of trash will help make sure our coral reefs are around a long time. The reefs of Biscayne National Park also contain many stories of mariners who tried to navigate the perilous waters. For over 300 years, Seafarers have utilized the waters of Biscayne for international routes of commerce and trade. Some were able to navigate safely, but many were not. There are over 50 documented shipwrecks in the park. Many of the more commonly visited reef sites are marked with mooring buoys to give visitors the opportunity to dive and snorkel while respecting our coral reefs. Thanks for visiting the reefs and getting connected to Biscayne National Park.